What's up everyone? MCI here at ADP Studios. It's Halloween. Got my Luigi get up on. Like I said yesterday, I'm going to make a tips and tricks video for producers. I'm going to do a two part series because it's kind of long. Uh, for this video, my homie Dusty Ryder asked a question the other day. And the question was, producers, where are you getting stuck or what are some things you need help with? So I'm actually just going to go through, I'm going to shout you out and I'm going to answer through these questions in my own perspective. I did answer some of these on Facebook. Also, I see Dusty commenting on a lot of them now. I did get Dusty's permission, but shout out to him. I'll actually link his stuff in this video too. So I'll probably just do about five, five to ten. We'll see how it goes, how in depth I get. So the first one is Yusku Thompson wants to get more exposure. So let me preface this whole video by saying all of the the information is out there if you guys want it. I mean Google is your best friend. There's so many things you can find on the internet and we think we need to look at some magic spot or something special has to happen for us to get the information. But it's all out there. It's on Google. But I've learned a lot of this stuff over the years, some of it through Google, a lot of it through mentorships, a lot of it through other me seeking out all kinds of information. So so anyway, um, he wants to know about exposure. So how to get more exposure as a producer. I'm going to tell you, to, and I'll be the first to say, or I'm going to tell you, I won't be the first to say it, but you just have to be out there grinding all the time. You have to be creating content. You have to be giving value. You have to be creating an email list. You have to be just constantly out there. I don't know why we have this misconception of we're waiting for other people to give us exposure. I don't know where that's always coming from because that's not anything that should ever happen. But I don't know why we're doing that. And I think that's where a lot of these questions come from where it's like, how do I let somebody else do this for me? You have to do it for yourself. You have to grind. You have to you have to be out there all the time, on all social platforms, creating content constantly. You have to be consistently looking for your target audience. You have to be consistently making beats. You have to be consistently getting better. That's why I think I'm only gonna do five of these because a lot of these answers could go on and on. So I'm probably just gonna do five. Um, Let's see, finding the right 808s, super simple one. Um, look at places like, shout out to Superstar O, um, like uh, industrykits.com, they got a lot of nice drum kits and stuff. Uh, shout out to uh, Anno Domini over at Modern Producers. Um, there's so many people with uh, drum kits and things like that. That's what took me to the next level, was finding them awesome sounds to start. And then if you're looking for, you know, finding the right 808s, I guess that could be a double-sided question where we're saying um, my 808s don't sound good. Um, learn how to sidechain. Learn how to mix so they don't so your 808s and your kick drums aren't taking up the same frequency. And learn how to uh, push back the attack a little bit on your 808 so your kick doesn't mesh with that. Super simple stuff. Just look it up. Um, making it sound professional. Uh, you know that's going to be for everybody. It just takes a ton of information on mixing and mastering and practicing and trying it and um, I will say the biggest key to the making it sound professional um, use a tool like Magic AB or always AB your mixes listen to them in a lot of different stuff and just practice 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 watch tons of YouTube videos on how to mix and master uh, homie Dusty actually has a bunch of stuff on his on some of these replies a lot of blogs that he made on these so yeah, making it sound professional. Just keep working at it. Uh, find some producers that you consider yourself similar to and really A, B your mixes towards them. And when I say A, B, that means your mix is A, theirs is B. What does it A sound like compared to B? So check that out. Um, support. I, I don't really know what that means. Uh, this dude, uh, William Slater, wants to know about support. I don't know what, that's just another like seeking something from somebody else. Go out there and give and then is, is if you give, you'll get. So we're always looking for support. We're always looking for somebody else to, uh, you know, give us something and that's never the way to approach it. Um, getting to big artists. Okay, so um, a lot of this is just networking. You know, who do you know? How can you get out there and contact them? A lot of times these bigger artists and stuff aren't going to answer your DMs or get hundreds of DMs from people that want to sell them beats or get placements from them. So who do they know that maybe you can get in contact with? 
You know, they might have 200,000 followers on Instagram, but they may be following 20 people. Was one of them 20, one of their A&Rs or maybe their manager or something like that. So think about just going to alternative routes, you know, maybe A&Rs. Uh, the big thing is, is contact studios that uh, they record at or, you know, even local artists record at and say, hey, I'm a producer, I got beats. Um, uh, that'd be awesome if you could hook this artist up with this flash drive of beats or tell them about me or, or whatever it is um, you could do. But there's a lot of ways and it's usually not direct to that big artist. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go two more because I don't want to make these videos super long because then you just get torn up and 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 too much information. So maybe I'll make this a three part series or I'll do a five day series because there's a lot of good stuff on here. A lot of stuff that's gonna help you guys. Um, unfinished beats. Uh, that's a good one. I think we're all gonna do that as producers because sometimes you make a beat and it's just not happening. Maybe you'll come back to it a different day. With the unfinished beats thing, man, it's it. Sometimes it just takes that. Put a little skeleton get together, come back a different day. Maybe it's trash. Maybe you rework it. Um, you're always gonna have unfinished beats. But if it's something dope, just be disciplined enough to take the time to sit there and finish the beat. I mean, that's all there is to it. Um, a good practice that I've heard from other producers and some things that help me out. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll make a beat, I'll arrange a beat, and then I'll give it a premix. And then the next day, I might come back, give it a final mix, and make sure my arrangements is the way I want or a little bit different. And then I'll go do some A, B, and then I'll go do some like mixes in the car and stuff like that. So it's almost a two-part thing. And then and usually that's on the day that I upload my beats. Um, so that's, that's one of those things. Uh, we'll go two more. Uh, finding the right sounds. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you about that. I already told you about industry kits. Modern producers always try new VSTs, things like that. Um, there's so many good ones. Shout out to Alex Keller. Um, he's got a super dope Codeine Fiend VST. Uh, there's a lot of great VSTs out there, but uh, invest in contact. Get massive. Um, I know a lot of people dog silent. Still got some decent sounds on there. Um, Omnisphere, obviously. Make sure you buy all these too. Like, don't be that producer that's got all this shit hacked because it's it's just, it, just own it. You can get the updates and all that shit. Save up for it, buy it. It's yours. You don't have to worry about it not working right. And we will go with. Let me go with this li this last one. Super simple. My computer's getting slow as fuck and can't handle the VSTs I want to use. Get more RAM, invest in a better computer. Um, that's all you can do because a lot of these VSTs and a lot of this audio production, video production takes up a lot of room and it's uh, very extensive and very hard on your computer. So they, there's not much you can do. Um, the other thing you could do is try different buffer sizes, try different things on that. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna cut the video right there. It's already 10 minutes long, a little bit more, a little bit, whatever. Um, Please like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, I'm doing these for you guys and just to help help out better our community. Um, also, with that being said, I'll link you guys with some stuff in the, in the description. Uh, go ahead and hit it up. You got any questions, hit me up. And as always, exitdoorproductions.com. Much love. Peace.